Hello, it's Jack here at System Trader, and in this video, I would like to tell you a bit about how to rebalance our portfolio, passive portfolio. So let's assume that we have some portfolio like here, Golden Butterfly, where we have five ETFs, and each has 20% weight. And it's obvious that once we invest that money in such portfolio, it's a matter of time that this weights will differ from the model values because for example stocks uh, the equities are growing faster than bonds for example therefore very quickly that portfolio would have more equities than bonds just because that's the nature of these markets so as a result we are forced to do so-called rebalancing that we are putting back this model uh, weights into the original values. And how to do this? There is a couple of, um, let's say, approaches and algorithms we can do it, and also they are uh, visible in the System Trader software. So the first and the simplest way is to say, for example, that we want to check our portfolio once a year, and no matter what, we just put the portfolio back to its original values. And there are good uh, things about that and there are wrong things about that. The good thing is that, that we are doing rebalancing um, in general and therefore we are not allowing to deviate our portfolio from its uh, starting risk we just set. But the bad thing about that uh, approach is that no matter how much uh, the, this weight uh, deviated from its original value, we are always doing that rebalancing, which may also cause that we have to pay some taxes because we have to sell something uh, and also it's uh, generating the transaction costs. By the way, if you are in the uh, starting point of investment and you are still um, adding more and more capital to your, uh, to your portfolio, the best approach is just to rebalance your portfolio using that new inflows to the portfolio so that then you may avoid at least for a few years uh, maybe even um, selling anything from your portfolio to rebalance it because just by buying appropriate pieces of the portfolio you can always make that portfolio looking like uh, the model portfolio but at some point you have to do something more than that and the inflows uh, the contributions are not enough to rebalance your portfolio. So as I said, the first approach is that on every year or every quarter or every month, you will do the rebalancing of your portfolio no matter what. A bit more, um, let's say, smarter way is to say, uh, what is the allowed deviation in your portfolio? So let's say that I put 20%, which means that if any of the weight here is deviating plus or minus 20% from its original value, then we are doing the rebalancing. And let's say that we are checking that every month. That doesn't mean that every month we are doing rebalancing, but every month we are checking if the condition is met that, for example, uh, rather than having 20%, we have 25% here or 15%, which is more than 20% uh, deviation from its original value, and then we have to rebalance it. And the last uh, method, how to rebalance your portfolio, is called inner rails and is used, for example, by some robo-advisory companies, which is a bit more, even smarter approach to rebalancing because there you say, uh, similarly as before, that you are allowing some deviations, let's say 20%, so let's say that this portfolio would deviate up to 22%, you do nothing. Uh, I mean, that piece would uh, grow to 22% and you do nothing because it's just only deviation of 10%. But let's say that it deviated to 25% and then you should rebalance it. But not to 20% as in, let's say, standard approach to rebalancing, but to so-called inner rail, which is in, in that case to 10%. So still you are allowing a 10% of deviation. So from 25%, you would rebalance it to 22%, allowing 10% of deviation. And why? Just because this way we can use the uh, natural momentum of the market. For example, if the equities are growing and if we have to rebalance them, rather than sell 
all this deviation amount from the model value, we just sell only part of it. So we are allowing a bit more stocks, equities in our portfolio, just using that momentum. And the opposite, once the market is going down, then we will have uh, at some point less, a bit less equities in our portfolio than the model uh, model amount. So I think that this is pretty interesting and it's very interesting to experiment a bit using, for example, system trader software, because um, this way you can only not uh, improve your portfolio, but also you can increase, for example, um, if you are doing that wrongly, the cost of, tra of transactions or the cost of taxes, or if you are doing that, uh, let's say, in a smarter way, like using the inner rails, you can uh, you can even radically reduce the amount of transaction costs and the amount of taxes being paid. So that's all from my side. Enjoy um, playing with the software and have a good day. Bye-bye.